so it's like a couple weeks before I move into the van full time and I'm lying in here in bed and I'm just getting scared and I know that it's gonna be really beautiful and obviously I'm choosing this for a reason but yeah I'm scared I can't believe I'm saying this, but today is my last day of van life. My name is Maddie Taylor, this is my dog Eliza, and for the past three years we've been living and traveling full time in our DIY Ram Promaster camper van exploring the western United States and Baja, Mexico. After spending a full month demoing and fixing up the van and making it look as good as new again, we are selling our 80 square foot home in preparation for our biggest adventure yet. But for now, we'll enjoy one last adventure in the van we've called home for the past three years. Well guys, today is officially my last day adventuring in this van. I can't even believe that I'm saying it, but just a couple days from now, this girl is flying in to purchase the van and take it all the way back to the Midwest where she's from. I honestly can hardly believe that it's true. This girl seems like the perfect person to take on this van. I'm so excited for her. And so this is my last opportunity to take my van for an adventure. We're going to one of my very favorite places I've ever been. Which is funny because I've been all over the country, well, all over the western half of this country and in Baja. And this place still happens to be one of my favorites and it's right here where I'm from. It's definitely bittersweet for sure, but I'm really looking forward to celebrating the last three years and also kind of catching you guys up with everything that's been going on and giving some previews to what's to come in the future too. It is Maddie from the future here to give a huge shout out to Bluetti for sponsoring this video and our ongoing partnership this year. Bluetti is a brand that specializes in high quality, well-designed, powerful, portable power stations, empowering people to be energy independent and helping us to reduce our environmental footprint. Today, I am showcasing the AC180T, something you guys may have already seen on this channel. It's Bluetti's first swappable and modular battery, but don't forget that Bluetti's website offers a variety of different power banks with different capacities to suit whatever your needs are, whether it's camping or truck camping or van lifing or homesteading or renovating or kind of whatever you can think of. One of the more noteworthy features of the AC180T is its ability to continuously power Bluetti's new multi-cooler fridge for up to six continuous days straight. This multi-cooler is the world's first portable fridge that triples as a fridge, freezer, and ice maker combination. And it is already live on Bluetti's website, so make sure you check it out by clicking on the link in the description box below and enjoying the special early bird price that is available now. While we unfortunately do not have the multi-cooler fridge to feature to you guys today, I can feature the AC180T's ability to continuously power other items for extended periods of time. It is easily able to power my own personal cooler style fridge for days on end, no problem. If you guys have been around for at least a few weeks, you'll already know that my AC180T virtually powered my entire van rebuild in preparation for selling it. It powered all of my electrical tools, especially my sander, and it was what made me able to do the build. I was not in a spot where I could rely on shore power to power my electrical tools, and so without this, I'm not really sure how I would have gotten it done. It also just so happens to be the most powerful of all of the power stations that I've had from Bluetti yet. The first battery with an output power of 1200 watts and over 700 watt hours and 1800 watts with over 1400 watt hours with both batteries. This power bank is so efficient in fact that you can have it charged in just 70 minutes to 100% with one battery and in just an hour and a half with both batteries which means you can be using your power bank extensively for a week straight and then have it ready to go again all while you're enjoying a long lunch break. It also comes with four different ways to charge it. You can charge it while you're driving using the handy cigarette lighter cable that it comes with. You can charge it at home using a standard US outlet. You can charge it using solar panels that are available for purchase on Bluetti's website or you can use a generator. Now that I'm finished with my van renovation, I still find myself using my AC180T literally every day. And part of that is because it comes with 10 different outlet ports, which is so convenient if you have a million things on your to-do list, which for me feels like 
every single day these days. Right now I am charging my computer, my phone, my camera batteries, and earlier I was charging my camera mic as well, all while I'm enjoying working outside. And in these spring months when the weather is finally warming up, I've been enjoying working outside so much more, and Bluetti is the perfect companion for that. But outside of just powering your work equipment, Bluetti has you covered in so many areas of life, whether you're going on a long road trip, or you're camping, or you're homesteading, or starting a renovation of your own. There are so many products over on Bluetti's website Website that can really help you to be energy independent and make your life a little easier. So I highly recommend you guys check Bluetti out by clicking on the link in the description box below. Thank you so much to Bluetti for once again sponsoring today's video and I look forward to continuing working with you in the future. And with that, let's get on to my final day of van life. We're in Bodega and it's somehow the most perfect day I've seen here in a really long time. I hope you guys can hear me okay. It is very loud here, albeit beautiful. So stinking beautiful. It might not be as easy for you guys to tell, but my van is completely transformed. There is pretty much nothing of mine left in this van aside from some food that I'm going to enjoy today and some flowers that I added for ambiance. I'm actually trying to not even use my van very much anymore just because I want it to be completely ready when I send it off to its new owner and taking it to a beach might have not been my best decision but we're gonna do our very best to keep it clean. The first viewing of the van was a little rocky. There were a few things that I needed to smooth out. One of the things I did was add child locks to my closet and to my toilet drawer and I also added some drawer stops to some of my drawers as well because when the woman was test driving the van everything was opening. In my defense that almost never happens to me. It does happen when I'm going on crazy roads but this woman was a wild woman. <laughs> But all things aside, it's all fixed now, so hopefully hopefully, nothing will open with the new owner. I don't see how anything really could at this point. And the other bigger thing I added to the van is an entirely new table for the dining room slash living room slash bedroom slash office. And that is because I am taking the one I had before with me where I end up going. That piece has always been my favorite part of the van. I had so much fun making it and now I'll have a little memento for my van long after it's explored new adventures with the new owner. So I'm really happy about that. I'm also really happy with how the new table turned out. I got a half sheet of some really nice plywood. I added edge tape and I treated it with some Danish oil, just natural Danish oil. And I think it turned out really nicely. It's also lighter than the table I had before. So I'm hoping that helps the new owner to convert it from table and into bed mode and vice versa. And I also decided to leave the spice rack for the future owner. I know they probably might end up throwing them away, but I have a soft spot in my heart for these guys. I think they add a nice pop of color and actually I'm feeling hungry so I think it's time for the last meal in this van and it's going to be tacos. If you've been watching this channel for a while you'll know that tacos is really the only right meal for me to have as a last meal in this van. I know that the whole purpose of camper vans is so you can explore in them, you're gonna get them dirty, and it's kind of funny to now be on this end of not wanting to 
touch the van. Because the table is brand new, I don't know if I'm gonna eat my tacos on it. I'm a little scared. I don't wanna ruin it in any way. <laughs> Last time storing one of my pans in this oven. <laughs> We're doing the paper bag method, and hopefully that will save me. That is a good taco. And I already spilled off my plate, so the paper bag method was the way to go. A couple of my friends have recently asked me if I'm going to miss van life, and for the most part, the answer is no. As much as I love van life, there are so many other things that I want to do with my life that van life doesn't allow me to do and it just feels like this chapter is naturally closing, just in time for the new one to start. There are a bunch of things I will miss about van life, and I have thought about this a lot. In fact, I have even made an entire list of everything I will miss about van life, and everything I won't. I mean, this is the part to really miss. Van life has this way of making convenience romantic. I just was able to make tacos for lunch. And if I wanted to, I could take a nap in my own bed right here, looking at this view, calling this my backyard. That being said, I'm not going to miss trying to figure out where to sleep at night. You can't sleep here. It's beautiful, but definitely illegal to camp out at this beautiful nature reserve. I'll miss the flexibility and knowing that if one area is too populated, I can just go to the next. It's kind of like you're on this never-ending extended glamping trip. That being said, I will not miss the lack of privacy that I have living in a van. You know, I did choose to be in a public area today, but I will just say that your privacy extends to the size of your van. And as soon as you open that sliding door, you're inviting people in to ask you questions about your van if you're in a public area. And although sometimes I don't mind doing that and sometimes it's actually really nice, a lot of times when I'm at home, I don't really want to talk to strangers about my lifestyle choices. And though you can find really private places to camp and I'm really happy that Armstrong Woods is pretty quiet today, you're definitely not going to be able to do that all the time if you're living in a van. We are currently in Armstrong Woods, walking through the Redwood Grove. It's quiet here, much quieter than it was at the beach, which I'm very grateful for. Oh my gosh. And there's Trillium blooming. Naturally, always distracted by flowers. <laughs> anyway, not only is this day my last day in the van, this week is also my last week in California. I am going very, very far away. I don't know when I'll be back again. So not only is this day a celebration of three years on the road, almost to the day, it's also kind of a last goodbye to my favorite state, my home state. I'm a California girl through and through. And I definitely think that more than missing van life, I'm gonna miss California. You know, when I got on the road, I got on with this intention of finding places that I might wanna settle down. <laughs> You'll understand why that's funny in a few weeks time. But I think more than anything, it's actually just made me love California even more, despite it being so ungodly expensive. I'm really gonna miss traveling with my friends. Traveling in Baja, that's some of the most fun I've had on the road or even in my whole life. <laughs> traveling on the Oregon coast, we had this huge group of people. It was so much fun. And I traveled with my friends Sarah and Tori for so much of my time on the road and I'm so grateful and I won't be able to do that anymore. I'm actually going so far away, I won't see any familiar faces for the foreseeable future. Luckily, van life kind of prepared me for that though because even though I am gonna miss traveling with friends and those were the times that I most loved being on the road. There were a lot of months on the road where I was completely alone. And sometimes that's really nice. I have learned to really enjoy a place on my own. I'm already an introvert, so that helps. But there's also times where 
it can be hard and I think I've prepped myself and I know how to handle myself even if I don't know anyone and I'm in a completely unfamiliar area. <laughs> this is kind of the last ray of sunlight hitting Armstrong Woods, which means I think it's time to head back to the beach. I frankly won't miss the lack of space or the ability to create something new with that space. I won't miss the uncertainty that comes with finding new places to sleep. I won't miss the loneliness, that scary feeling of not knowing the next time you'll see the smile of someone you love. I won't miss poor Eliza's anxiety. She never did get used to driving on the road, something I didn't know what happened when I got her. I was hopeful that it would change over time, but it really never did, and it made me feel guilty a lot of the time on the road. I won't miss dumping out my toilet or fixing clogs in my sink or cracked windshields or the fear I sometimes felt camping alone in the middle of nowhere, though that does dissipate over time. As for things I miss, they're not all purely van life related. I will miss having everything I need always at hand. I'll miss traveling along the coast and hummingbirds and rolling oak hills for miles. I'll miss seeing my friends from time to time and people who speak the same mother language. I'll miss seeing and feeling the sun on my skin even in winter and I'll miss the feeling of familiar surroundings. And I expect there are quite a few things I don't even realize I'll miss yet or maybe I'll be surprised to not miss them as much as I thought because in a way van life has trained me for this lifestyle change more than probably anything else would because I don't have a lot tying me down I still will get to see my family from time to time I don't see my friends very often because most of them live very far away and I'm hoping that this will actually help me with my career and I have very little earthly possessions except for a few boxes currently sitting in a corner of a room Okay, we are officially back at the beach. It is so windy outside, and I think I'm going to have a piece of pie. It is so crazy to think that this is my last sunset in this van. So much work went into this build, <laughs> and the second build. <laughs> I don't even know how many hours of time I've logged working on this van, putting love and care into this van. It's the first home I've purchased. It'll be the first home I sell. But I'm excited for the next chapter. I'm really, really excited. That's the short list anyway. I want you guys to know that I'm not going anywhere. I still plan to post videos, especially about this change and everything that's going to come. It's big, it's different than anything I've ever done before. I don't know a lot of people who've done this either, so it'll be a wild ride trying to figure it all out and hopefully we'll be able to figure out some of it together. So I hope you guys will stick along with me. And to those of you who've been with me through any part of this van life adventure, or if you've been with me for the past three years, I appreciate you. This has been an amazing opportunity and experience and adventure and I'll forever be grateful for this time in this van. And who knows, it might not be my last rig on the road, but it will be for now. Time will tell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. It'll be a big one. Take care. I filmed this three times now. And of course the time that it was perfect and there were no cars didn't record. <laughs> Don't come at me for holding my lavalier mic like this in my comment section. How is this light? Loud. There was a person. Mm.